Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, I've got a very exciting new drop from Birdie, Disc Golf Supply. We've got the brand new Rise. It's gonna be in the nice champion style premium plastic. It's a 5402 mid-range that very closely resembles the old Innova made Discmania MD4, which lucky enough, I have exactly that. I've got an old Innova produced Discmania MD4. And as you can see, based on the side profiles, these guys are very similar, but I will say the Innova MD4 is a hair more blunt, but I'm curious to see how the flights actually match up on these two guys. And then just for a full on comparison, I do have a new Discmania MD4 here as well. Um, this is a prototype MD4 and it actually compared to the old ones, it does look like it has that same bluntness as well. So the new MD4 is very similar to the old MD4. And we'll see how the Rise stacks up against the very popular MD4 mold. So we'll go Innova made, then we'll go Discmania made, and then we'll go with the Birdie Disc Golf Supply Rise. Just toss them out there on a nice 60% shot. Wow. So that actually had a good bit of glide on it, a little more than I expected, to be honest. We'll go Discmania, new Team Stamp Metal Flake, MD4. People always love the MD4 because it does get that little bit more forward push than the MD5. It's kind of right in between like a rock and a gator. Still stable, but still has a little bit more forward push. More of a workhorse disc, more than an upshot disc. Let's see how the rise compares. That flew very similar to the MD4. Let's go gather everything up. We'll throw them back here again. So far, I'm very impressed with the flight of all of those discs, honestly. It's like that a little bit on the overstable side, not quite neutral, but not quite overstable, just right in the middle. Birdie Disc Golf Supply is one of those smaller brands um, that seldom comes out with new molds, but when they do, they usually are pretty good. They also have a fairway driver, that is very T-Bird-esque, that is very good. They have the Marvel, which I do believe Scott Stokely putted with for a long time. I'm not sure if he's still putting with them now that he has Stokely discs and his own signature putter with that brand. Um, but Bodanza also has a signature Marvel. The Marvel's a really solid putter. Um, they make a really nice fairway driver. The name escapes me at the moment. Now they've got the Rise. They have another overstable mid called the Ultra, which I do believe is a tick or two more stable than the Rise. So far, the Rise being that MD4 clone seems to be very solid. And I'm excited to throw it a few more times to see. Um, it's actually getting a little bit windy out here, so it's nice to see how it's actually going to fly into the wind. So let's see how they push back into the tailwind. This will really be a good chance to see how stable everything actually is. I'm expecting them to fly pretty overstable going into a tailwind. But we'll go MD4, Discmania MD4, and then we'll go with the Rise again. Nice flat release. Really holding that line and fading back right at the very end of the flight. Then we've got the new MD4 and the Metal Flake blend. <laughs> Definitely a little bit more stable than the old Innova run. That old Innova one's been beat up quite a bit. Then we've got the brand new Birdie Disc Golf Supply Rise here. Definitely the most stable of the bunch, but not by much. Very similar flight, very similar feel in hand, but probably a little bit more true to the flight numbers than the other two discs. Really getting a true zero turn and a true two fade. Um, something you can really rely on. So that was a couple backhands down, a couple backhands back. Let's bring it to the other side of the game. We'll go to the forehand. Throwing now into a straight headwind, I honestly think this Innova made MD4 is going to be like a hyzer flip disc for me on forehand. Not a 5402 type mold. That's not something you really expect. But that's what I'm expecting because I just I just know how this disc is flying. It's a little flippier than expected. Wowie. It's a pretty cool flight though. Smashed it pretty hard into the headwind. 
And this one's gonna be a little more stable. I can trust it a touch more flat. <sighs> Maybe not quite that flat. This is where the rise comes in. When you're dealing with a headwind and you wanna throw the forehand, you want something that you're really gonna trust. And I know that this guy's not gonna turn as much as those two. Or maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. It started to stand up and hold for a little bit. Didn't really want to swing back the end. Because of the mic, you can't really hear the wind and the trees aren't moving a ton, but I can assure you is a pretty good headwind coming in. And that was really holding them straight, holding them on a little more turn than you'll see in standard conditions. And I will say, in my opinion, I think I throw forehands a little bit faster than most. Um, I think get a little bit more speed and spin than at least most amateur players. So I think you can expect to get a little bit more stability on the forehands than I am. And I think your forehand stability will be similar to my backhand stability where it was really wanting to swing at the end. But we'll go one more forehand and then we'll go one more backhand back. And then we can wrap up my final thoughts on, I guess all these discs for today's video. That's a bomb, that's at least 350, 360 the end of MD4, that nice flip on it. Discmania MD4, I think that was an even bigger throw. It's probably right around 350, 360. Then we've got the rise here. We'll give it a little bit of height so it's got time to fight back. Yeah, see, when it comes to forehand throws, I tend to need something a little bit more overstable. So when I do kind of get over on a little bit, I can have something that swings back a little bit more at the end of the flight. When it comes to that 5402 flight, I guess I was expecting something a touch more stable on the forehand. But for me personally, I throw usually a couple miles an hour faster on the forehand, but forehands also have less spin than backhands. So for me personally, with that being the case, I need to bag significantly more stable discs for forehand than I do on backhand. So it's a nice like hyzer flip to straight forehand disc for me. Um, but for backhand, it's pretty much a meat hook, very true to the flight numbers. I think my game is a little bit different than most people because my forehand is honestly just quite a bit more advanced than my backhand. So I think for backhand for me, it's really stable, flies exactly like the flight numbers, um, but probably not a disc I would be forehanding unless it's for that um, hyzer flip kind of turning line. All right, I'm gonna give you guys one more backhand. We're going straight back into a pretty stiff headwind now at this point. Well, let's give my thoughts quick and then we'll throw one last shot. Birdie Disc Golf Supply Rise. Very similar to the MD4, as you can see. Very similar to the new MD4. Not quite as blunt as the old MD4. I think the new MD4s are a little bit more blunt than the old ones. This doesn't quite fully resemble the Innova made, but it does very much resemble the Discmania made. I'm honestly not sure who's manufacturing these. There aren't any of the usual telltale signs, um, penned weight on the edge. I have no idea who's manufacturing this, but I'm pretty confident that it's not Gateway, but that's pretty much all I can rule out at this point. It's a very nice premium champion plastic. Feels very similar to like a streamlined disc, or like an Innova Champion disc. Probably a little bit more grippy than Innova Champion plastic. Really nice disc. Birdie Disc Golf Supply has done a nice job with this one. I love a nice stable mid. And like I said, I need a stable mid for backhand and then a super stable mid for forehand. But it stacks up right next to these guys, no problem. We'll go one last throw at the rise. And then we'll wrap up the video. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Do a little more smash -a -roni. If it doesn't hit the tree, it's huge. I caught a little bit of cabbage at the end there. Okay, I gotta... This, honestly, this old champion, MD4, because it's flippy, is actually kind of sick. <sighs> Thing flies like a freaking meteor. It's so weird. Then we've got Discmania Metal Flake MD4. And I'm one of the people that thinks that metal flake discs are actually less stable than other plastics. Metal flake tends to be a bit gummier, and I think gummier, softer plastics tend to be a little bit more understable. So I'd be really interested to see how this flies 
in a different plastic, but I don't own one in a different plastic, but it seems a little flippier than it should be for an MD4. So I don't throw that hard. I'm getting it to go pretty straight. Like I think my backhand's pretty average, but you can see the, the massive difference in flight from backhand to forehand. But overall, Birdie Disc Golf Supply Rise. I actually think it's pretty fire and I think you guys should check one out. I'll link their website in the description below. I might have a discount code with them over there. I'm not sure. If I do, I'll put it down there as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you go check out bergsdisksports.com. Use my code ICE20 to save 20% on your next disc golf bag. Best disc golf bags in the game. Go check out our website. I'm sure you'll find something you like over there. My other sponsor, Power Grip USA. Use my discount code ICE10. It'll save you 10% on anything over at the website. I'll see you guys in the next video. Live with gratitude, stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.